Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. Today is uh, the next installment in my Fine Fragrance Mist collection. I don't know if, like how many I'm gonna divide this into. I pulled out all the ones that I had in my, just like on my dresser in my house, uh, things that I spray like before bed or like kind of supplementing my fragrance plus all the ones that I had in my file drawer here. Uh, yeah, my file cabinet is, is full of beauty products. <laughs> we don't keep files anymore, so I have two file cabinets in my office, and the one is full of fine fragrance mist. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll cut it off. I don't know how many I will get in. I know I have, there's well over 50 between those two things. So I will go through some of them. And then I do have a cart that has the whole top layer of the cart. If you watch my shower gels, uh, the whole top layer is shower, is fine fragrance mist. So that was definitely gonna be a separate video because I need to pull that out and um, I'm not ready to do that. And yeah, so you're gonna see my face today. I, I'm sorry, I, I do like the ones where it just shows the collection, but uh, I, don't have the means to do that right now with a nice background. So uh, we're doing it this way. They are in no particular order. They're just how I pulled them out of the drawer. And um, I, yeah, I think most of my winter ones will be somewhere in this video or the next. Before I start, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And please let me know what some of your favorite fragrance mists are. Uh, this is ridiculous. It is, I know it's ridiculous. This is why I wasn't shopping at Bath and Body Works for a while, and then I got sucked back in, and I, I'm trying to be better this year about buying fragrance mists and being like more, yeah, I just was buying them because I was like, oh, this one's nice, or this one sounds nice, and keeping them even though I'm not gonna probably use all of them completely, but some of them I absolutely love and want backups of, and I have backups. So you'll see some backups here and there too, but. I am trying 2024 to, you know, maybe not use up some of these, but uh, make dents in them and also not purchase as many, which we'll see. I'm putting in an order today because there's a 5.95 sale and there's a couple cents I want. Anyway, first up we have Golden Hour Coast. This is Sun Kissed Bergamot, Golden Pear and Radiant Woods. This is one of their fall scents. I'm not gonna spray them all, what am I? I will be here for two hours if I do that. So Golden Hour Coast, one of the fall, this one came out in 2020, oh my gosh, what year is this? 2022, I love when they put like a yellow print on yellow liquid. But next up we have Sun, Bloom, Sun Blooms and Suede. The notes on this one are white raspberries, pink petals and vanilla cream. This one came out last year in 2023, but it's going to be dated 2022 because it was early in the year. I went through a full size of this last year. So I have this, I know I have one more of this because I went through the one so quickly. It's a lovely nights, like spray at night on your pillows and your, it's just comforting. I love it for that. So I do have that one. Then this one is from 2023. This is Leaves, another fall. This is crisp apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. It is quite spicy, so it's special occasions. There's only special occasions I'm going to be wearing it. Then we have uh, from 2022. This is Strawberry Snowflakes. This one, I have a, a sizable dent, I feel like, in this one. I'm not wearing this one as much as I should, probably. I do have I know at least one of these that I have at my parents that I've been using and then I've had some minis that I've taken traveling with me. So I probably would have a larger dent if this was just my only one. But we, our notes are Juicy Strawberry, Whipped Cream, and Iced Bergamot. Love that one. It came back out. You'll see this year's packaging in here somewhere too. Fairy Tale. this one, I, oh my goodness. This one is 2021. The notes on this are pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. I love the packaging on this. It reminds me of Alice in Wonderland, which is why I was so taken with it. I don't really like it on my body. So um, it's one that I probably shouldn't have. And I'm not gonna let it go though because I love the packaging. So that, that that's a problem. Then we have Forever Sunshine. This just came out uh, at SAS. I, th I think it was SAS or did it come out Body Care Day? 
either way it's 2023 golden apricot pink peonies vanilla musk hint of proline I haven't really given that one a go because it is newer in my collection among the clouds I have a dent in this one and I do have a backup of this one too because I love this one this is what wild berry skies and whipped vanilla clouds probably one of my favorite scents I don't know I like the lighter berry scents and vanilla so I was very happy with that one this one is very nice too this is sunrise woods this is oh my goodness creamy sandalwood sweet berries and cozy cashmere this one came out in 2022 with the golden golden hour coast so these were fall ones then we have one from 2022 in the halloween collection this is enchanted candy potion it is spellbinding sugar bewitched berries and whipped pixie dusk i think this one's just okay i know people were really gaga over it but it was not my favorite so it's one that i like but it's not one that i'm going to miss when i finish up my products in it gingham heart of gold this is crisp golden apple creamy vanilla bean and warm sandalwood i think this is a really nice fall scent it has that apple i don't know apple just is comforting i'm not a big pumpkin fan so i would always go for an apple for fall this one was kind of late summer early fall it is honey wildflower notes are crisp pear fresh wildflowers and sweet honey this one is nice I have a roller ball of the fragrance oil as well in it and I I enjoy that I'm glad that I have that then we have bonfire bash this is vanilla bourbon creamy sandalwood and cashmere musk this one's pretty good um, it's it my favorite no but I do like it in the fall there are certain times when I'm like I just want something a little creamy but a little uh, smoky at the same time Fall and Bloom, I loved this one. I thought this was really nice. This is Juicy Plum, Wild Blooms, and Velvet Moss. Uh, I, I like this packaging. I know they came out with the faceted, but it's not my it's not my favorite on those. Here we go, another strawberry snowflakes. This is this year's packaging. So juicy strawberry whipped cream and ice bergamot. Yes, um, I, I do get back up sometimes. Another one for the fall. I think a lot of my fall were in here when I rotated. So we have blueberry sugar pancakes, and this is sugared blueberries, fresh pancakes, and caramel cream drizzle. Um, when I get the blueberry, it's good. I don't really like the pancake scent to it, but I feel like it's more like a syrupy type of blueberry scent, so it's okay most of the time. Cozy vanilla bourbon. I know everybody was going crazy over this. This is warm bourbon, dark fruit, and vanilla liqueur. I feel like I was not crazy about this one. Actually, it's pretty good. I, I need to wear this one more, but I feel like this one came out in the fall. I think it's more of a fall scent, but it, it can be a year round scent too. I like this one. I need to wear this one more. This is Chasing Fireflies. I feel like this wasn't as popular as some other ones. Golden Pear, Jasmine Blooms, and Illuminated Woods. Yeah, that's another like late summer, early fall one. Okay, we have Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. I'm not sure why I got this one because I'm not a big pumpkin fan. And it's not like it really has a lot of coffee. I love coffee. It's just really sweet. Sweet with some pumpkin. So, I don't know. That might be one that I eventually let go. I'm not planning to declutter any of these anytime soon. But um, if I ever do, that might be one. Everlasting Magic. I loved this one. This one came out this year. This is Bejeweled Berries, Phantom Petals, and Magic Musk. And by this year, I mean 2023. I forgot to tell you years. So Chasing Fireflies was 2023 as well. Wildflower Honey was 2021, so it's a little bit older. I think I said Fairy Tale was 2021. If I didn't, there you go. Uh, Enchanted Candy Potion was 2022, as was Bonfire Bash. Got some black on the bottom of Bonfire Bash, that's weird. Gingham Heart of Gold was 2021. 2022 was Fall in Bloom. These two were 2022, the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte and the Blueberry Sugar Pancakes. And then 2023 was Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. I'll be better about telling you dates. Next up, we have Autumn Drive. This one is really nice. This is Wild Raspberry, Warm Amber, and Vanilla Birch. I know people are over all of the like berry scents, but I love berry, so I'm all for it. This was 2022, as was this one. This is Wicked Vanilla Woods. The it came out last year 2022 and it's really nice looking it is magical vanilla glowing amberwood and enchanted pink pepper really happy that i have that one then we have luminous which came out in 2023 
This is Ruby Current Gilded Iris and Proline Amber. This one is pretty strong to me. It is a nice patchouli, but it is definitely what I feel like is more of a winter type scent. Midnight Amber Glow. I don't like this one. Um, this is Smooth Amber, Caramel Latte, and Vanilla Bourbon. I don't like it on me. I think it's the amber. Amber does not always perform well on my skin. And the lotion, especially in this, I absolutely hate it. I need to wear the mist without other things because usually I'm spraying this on my clothes or I'm spraying this on on top of perfumes. So I need to just give it a go by itself. But this one came out in 2022. Then we have Country Apple. The notes on this are Apple Blossom, Fresh Muguet, uh, or Muguet, I don't know, Sheer Sunlight and Orchid Woods. This came back for a SAS, this was 2022. And then we have Warm Vanilla Sugar, which my version is from 2022 also. So this one is Intoxicating Vanilla, White Orchid, Sparkling Sugar, Fresh Jasmine, and Creamy Sandalwood. I think that one is kind of a year round, but I probably reach for it more in the winter. This is a new one for like winter, Valentine's Day, spring, I guess. And it is Sweetheart Cherry. This is my backup hook bottle. And the notes are Wild Cherry, Crushed Pistachio, and Whipped Vanilla. I know it's been kind of like, some people have liked it, some people have it. It's been all over the place. I, I like it a lot. It isn't as cherry as maybe some people would hope it would be, but I love that pistachio in there as well. So I, I'm all for that. Then we have Sapphire Moon. Oh, that one is, it probably says 2023, but it was for sale in 2024. So take with that what you will. And then we have Sapphire Moon. They re-released this for this sass as well, but this is the previous sass, uh, fall sass. I think this came out for Body Care Day, actually, 2022. The notes on this are Sparkling Pear, Sheer Freesia, and Moonlight Musk. I, I do like this one. I should probably wear it more. Then we have Perfect Peony. This is very much a springy scent. The notes are Pink, Lady Apple, Sorbet, Peony, Vanilla, Sandalwood. And the this one came out in 2021. This I got in a Mother's Day gift set, and that was back before like I really took off buying everything. I feel like that one I might have bought at the outlet in Nashville area because I feel like I have another one of those that doesn't have like this weird sticker on it in different languages. I think that's where that one came from. Pink Suede. This is Blush Berries, Violet Peonies, and Soft Cotton. I do like this one. It is a little bit more, has more presence to it than some of the other berries that we've talked about, but this was also a fall scent that came out in 2022. Okay, I have a couple more that I'm going to show you and then we're going to go on to a part two and then probably a part three. Uh, so next up we have Twisted Peppermint. This is Cool Peppermint, Sugared Snow, Fresh Balsam, and Vanilla Buttercream. This particular one is 2022. I did get another one of it this last year just because I really like the packaging and I had some coupon that I got a free one, I think, and that's why I got ended up with it. At least that's, I think, how I ended up with it. Then we have Lovely Dreamer. This one came out for Body Care Day in 2023. The notes on this one are Fluffy Musk, Clean Woods, White Iris, and Fresh Bergamot. I'm not sure what I think of this one, to be honest. Like, some of them I have just, like, I know I love. Some of them I kind of don't use a lot. And this one, I haven't decided what I think of it. I think it might be a little too astringent for a pillow or a nighttime mist because I do like to spray down my pajamas, myself, my pillow, but we'll see. I don't know. Then we have this one and I wish they'd bring back this aromatherapy. This is Cacao Rose. I really loved Cacao Rose and it is, this one is 2021. So it's been a couple years. They didn't bring it back in 22, 23 or 24. So I don't know, maybe next year I would, I hope. Uh, I do really like it. It's just chocolate and roses, basically. And then I got this one. This is one of my newest fragrance mist. This is Himalayan Oasis. It's another aroma or aromatherapy. And it is, uh, where are the notes? Zesty Lime, Sparkling Vetiver, and Sparkling Bergamot. Uh, I like this one. It's very citrusy, very limey. Like, it's kind of a pick-me-up. It reminds me of when they did, they had a lime 
way back in the past in the aromatherapy line and this is reminiscent of it so I do like that one okay so that was 33 fragrance mists and um, I have another 33 that are sitting next to me so I think I'm going to separate those into a separate video let me know if you have any of these let me know if any of these you wish they would bring back I'm trying to think if any of them I really wish they would bring back I, I think perfect peony was really nice that would be a nice one to bring back um, a lot of these I feel like are still available like other than cacao rose so let me know which ones you would like to have back I hope you're all having a fantastic day thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time